Located in the middle of the Ruhr Valley, Duisburg is Europe's largest inland port. It's the ideal site for the trading business of the Haniel family. The company is led by the chairman of the supervisory board, Franz Markus Haniel, on the right, and next to him is the CEO, Jürgen Kluge. The company's headquarters and some of its facilities are located in Duisburg. For example, the ELG company, which recycles scrap iron, steel, and high-value metals. There are more than 40 million euros worth of waste and scrap metals stored on the site. The heads of the Hanil company hear how well the recycling business is going. Prices for raw materials are rising, so the price of scrap is rising too. Titanium, which is so important in building airplanes, is 100% recyclable. That makes it profitable and environmentally friendly. Jürgen Kluge is a physicist and enthusiastic about recycling. This is not a junk business, it's an information business. We have three groups of people working here, the scrap workers and crane operators. Then, back in the hall, are the physicists and lab technicians, using mass spectrometers to analyze the samples. And then we have the raw material dealers. And what's fascinating is that these three groups work together. That's where the added value comes from. Haniel's original building is still standing. In 1756, it was both a home and a warehouse. Some members of the family were born here, like Franz Haniel, a successful merchant. Iron and mining companies, shipping and trading. The firm grew over the centuries, as did the family itself. History has shown us two things. On the one hand, how important it is to have a shared tradition of values, a foundation on which you can build. At the same time, we've learned how important it is to constantly change, alter and adjust, to see what's going on around us, to anticipate how the world is changing, and to adapt our businesses and business models accordingly, or even give up some of them. The concern has almost always bought and sold companies. A certain amount of change is desired. In 1917, the company's structure was altered. Family ownership and management were separated. Johann Welke was the first manager of Haniel, who was not a part of the family. The current boss isn't a Haniel either. Jürgen Kluge used to run the German branch of the McKinsey management consulting firm. Now he heads Haniel in close consultation with the chairman of the supervisory board. It's not an easy task because 600 members of the family are part owners of the company. Franz Markus Haniel represents their interests. He and Kluge work well together. We're in constant communication and when a difficult issue comes up we immediately confer. If a family is this large, you need clear rules. The manager's job is to preserve and renew the company, but his business sense must be coupled with the right perspective. It's always been our understanding that entrepreneurial freedom has to go hand in hand with social responsibility. They belong together. It's not an option, it's a necessity. And that's what we do. We have our own foundation that is concerned with training young managers. We feel responsible toward the city we're headquartered in. This is where we grew to be what we are. This is the cradle, and we want to make our contribution to this location. The firm's various subsidiaries and shares in other companies are administered here. Jürgen Kluge's job is to secure the future.
The last strategy project was called Haniel 2000, and now I've launched another called Haniel 2020. We need to examine and change our portfolio in this 10 to 20 year cycle. I'll be happy if when I retire, the company has a portfolio that bodes well for the future. And that's possible only through close cooperation, because at Haniel, the family has the final say.